Hello everyone, my name is Zach Smith. I'm the Executive Vice President for Educational Technology for HTML Coin. I've been getting a lot of requests about how to do a pool mining setup on uh, using CC Miner. So that's what we're going to do right now. Alright, the first thing you need to do is have a mining pool, of course. Um, the only one, or the most reliable one, the one I use personally, is this minerlab.eu. So let's just go ahead and go there. And I'll put the link in the comments as well. So when you get here, you'll notice it has all these standards. Um, it has uh, coins. Here's the uh, X15 coins, different coins, basic information. What we want to do is go to getting started. And notice here is the 15, X15 algo coins, the algorithm coins. And HTML is right here. So let's get started. All right. So go to your CC Miner folder. Here is mine. Notice I already have a file, but we're going to create one from scratch. All right. So first thing we want to do is go to New. And in this case, we just have to create a file. Let's name this Miner Lab Start. Now, what we need to do is change this to a .bat file. We do that by just opening the file. Here's Notebook. And we're going to do a Save As. Change to All Files here. And make this dot bat and if you notice we come back over here we have this with the little uh, gear icon okay great now we need to let's see here let's just minimize that go over here so here is our stratum host here are the ports with difficulty and Personally, I've been using this port 3007. Uh, seems to be working really good for me. But we need to do a couple of other things before we add that to it. All right, so first we need to do ccminer.exe. Tells us the program. Dash A for algorithm, X15, space dash O. And now this is where we're going to put our stratum right here. So we just take this copy control V and again we are going to use port 3007 okay so let's put that up here and we do that by saying colon make sure it's the double dots not a dot comma and 3007 Next, we're going to put in our username or our worker. Right? I'm going to skip this for one moment, and now I'll copy and paste the wallet address in there. Uh, the next thing we need to do is dash p, and that's our password. Any, uh, you can make it anything you want. It doesn't make any difference. All right, great. Now I'm going to grab my HTML wallet and paste this in here. It is blurred out because it's a mining uh, address that I use. And so let's see here. Good. All right. We have our program, our algorithm, our stratum, our port, our user, and our pass. Good. Let's go ahead and save. Now what we want to do is run that. So we'll go back to our explorer here. And that was Miner Lab Start. I'll fire that up. We'll come over here. It'll open the command prompt. You can see that it's starting to work, and voila, accepted one of one. We get this little yay. So um, we have done some calculations on a block and received a percentage of work, and that will start to accumulate in the. Uh, mining pool. The mining pool pays every 10 minutes, uh, or at uh, no less than every 10 minutes, depending on how many coins. Sometimes if you get a lot of partials, 
it could take up to about half an hour to 40 minutes to get a payout. Uh, so again, notice another part, three of three, yay, and you're off and mining. Now the one thing you can look at here is if you come over here to worker stats, you can look at the different worker stats and you can say, oh, okay, whatever your wallet is, your mining speed, this is how many coins you have made since the reset. And it resets every, I believe every two weeks. Um, and that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, place them in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, until then, happy mining. Take care. Bye.